Dear friend, for your movie night, I highly recommend renting The Intrepid Explorer. It's a captivating adventure film that masterfully blends suspense, humor, and drama, ensuring an enthralling experience. The storyline follows an archaeologist who uncovers a lost city, offering a perfect balance of breathtaking landscapes and intriguing historical mysteries. The lead actor delivers an exceptional performance, bringing depth to the character and making the audience feel every triumph and setback. Its stunning cinematography and gripping plot twists will keep you on the edge of your seat. This film isn't just entertaining, it's a visual and emotional journey that stays with you long after the credits roll. Credits roll. Enjoy your evening with this cinematic gem. One memorable interaction with an animal I recall was with a stray dog that often wandered near my workplace. This medium-sized black-and-white dog had a friendly demeanor but seemed cautious around people, likely due to past experiences. One chilly morning as I arrived at work, I noticed the dog sitting by the entrance, shivering lightly. Feeling empathetic, I offered it some food and water, which it accepted gratefully. Over the next few weeks, this became a routine— the dog would wait for me every morning, and I would bring some food and spend a few minutes petting and talking to it. What made this interaction so vivid in my memory was the gradual change in the dog's behavior. Init initially hesitant and distant, it slowly began to trust me, wagging its tail and showing signs of affection. This experience was heartwarming and highlighted the impact of kindness and patience. It was a simple yet profound reminder of how small acts can make a significant difference even to a stray animal.
In the image, we see an indoor food court bustling with activity. There are two food stalls visible. One is a burger joint with a large burger sign, and the other is a Thai food stall. At the burger stall, customers are queuing to order, while the staff wearing red uniforms behind the counter appears to be taking orders or serving food. At the Thai food stall, a server is also present, presumably taking orders. People are scattered around the food court, engaged in various activities. Some are walking with trays of food, while others are sitting at tables enjoying their meals. In the foreground, a man is standing and holding a bowl, possibly having just picked up his food from the Thai stall. stall. On the left, there is a young girl with her meal at a table, looking towards the viewer. In the center, a mother is seated with her child, who seems to be eating. There's a man seated on the right with glasses, eating a meal. Overall, the scene captures a typical busy day at a food court with people enjoying a variety of meals. In the bustling food court scene, it's likely that the activities will continue to unfold in a typical, lively manner. The queue at the burger joint may grow longer as more people arrive, drawn by the sight and smell of juicy burgers. The Thai food stall might see a steady stream of customers, too, intrigued by the exotic flavors. The man, man holding a bowl may find a seat to enjoy his meal, possibly joined by friends or family. The mother and child in the center would likely continue their meal, sharing a moment of connection amidst the busy surroundings. The man with glasses, engrossed in his meal, might remain seated, savoring his food while observing the hustle and bustle around him. Overall, overall, the food court would remain a hub of activity, with people coming and going, each absorbed in their own little world of culinary delights.
Hello, Sarah Johnson. I wanted to share my thoughts on the summer camp options for Mary. While the reading and writing day camp sounds enriching, I believe the music camp might be a more engaging and valuable experience for her. At $160 for 10 days, it's not only more affordable but also offers a hands-on approach to music, which can be a lifelong skill. The camp teaches basic music symbols, rhythms, and provides lessons in guitar, flute, or piano, catering to her specific interests. Collaboratively practicing songs can enhance her teamwork skills and boost her confidence. Plus, the exposure to different musical musical instruments might spark a new passion, something that's equally important as academic learning. Let's give her a chance to explore her creative side in a melodious way. Dear Roger, I wanted to share some important information regarding the customer you're currently assisting. Yesterday I personally sold him the coffee maker he's trying to return. Although he doesn't have the receipt, I can vouch for his purchase as I remember our interaction clearly. Given the circumstances, I believe it would be fair and in line with our store's commitment to customer satisfaction to offer him a full refund. This gesture will not only resolve his current agitation, but also reinforce our reputation for excellent customer service. I trust your judgment in handling this situation and appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. Dear customer, thank you for reaching out to us regarding your recent coffee maker purchase. I understand your concern and the inconvenience this situation may cause. I would like to clarify our store's return policy, which requires the original receipt for any returns or refunds. This policy is in place to ensure accurate and fair processing for all our transactions. Although I remember you purchasing the coffee maker yesterday, without the receipt, we are unable to process a refund as it serves as proof of purchase and is essential for our inventory and financial records. We value your patronage and would like to offer assistance in any other way we can, possibly through an exchange or exchange or store credit, if that would be acceptable to you. Please let us know how we can assist you further within the constraints of our policy.
When considering whether Canada should allocate its financial resources towards preserving historical landmarks or advancing scientific research and technology, it's important to recognize the value of both. Preserving historical landmarks is crucial for maintaining cultural heritage and educating future generations about the country's past. These landmarks often become significant tourist attractions, contributing to the economy. On the other hand, investing in scientific research and technology can lead to innovations that improve quality of life, create new industries, and address global challenges like climate change. Ideally, a balanced approach would, approach would be beneficial, where both areas receive adequate funding. This approach ensures that while the country progresses technologically, it also retains its rich history and cultural identity. In this context, prioritizing one over the other might lead to a loss in either cultural richness or potential scientific advancement. Hello, I need to report a potentially dangerous situation on the road. I'm currently driving and I've spotted a red compact car that's in a very unsafe condition. The most alarming issue is that the car is missing a tire. Instead of a wheel on one side, there are visible sparks and smoke coming from the axle, indicating that the car is scraping against the road surface as it moves. This is not only dangerous for the car's occupants, who I can see through the windows and who seem to be unaware of the danger, but it's also a hazard for other drivers. The car is currently on an asphalt road that curves to the right, and there's a road sign up ahead signaling, signaling a sharp turn. We're in a pastoral area with open landscapes. I'm concerned that the car's condition, especially in a place with turns, poses a significant risk of an accident. Can you please send assistance to check on this vehicle and ensure everyone's safety?